Yo, Christmas is an exciting new series coming on Netflix on the 15th of December 2023. And I can't wait for you to watch it. But for me, I got exclusive invite from Netflix as I got to speak to the cast members of the production. Let's go check it out inside. My name is Gatle Kholebakhang. Hi, I am Shomla Tandala. Hi, I'm Didi Makobane, and you are watching Through the Lens with Sina Temba. Um, the first question goes to tell us a bit more about your character, the characters that you play um, on your Christmas. So I play the role of Utando Mokwena, and she is a 30-year-old physiotherapist, um, with so much love and light in her love in her life and she I guess more easily described as the girl next door and she goes on a 24 day journey to find a bay a boo a somebody <laughs> but yeah that's that's basically the short of it she used words I didn't understand <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Shomla. I play a character called Victor. He's an elderly gentleman um, who's had an illustrious political career and such. His wife has passed away. Um, and so now he is looking for love and goes for a back um, treatment and runs into a lovely lady. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> You've done that. That was yeah. great. Um, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Didi, um, you play best friend to Katiako, and you've been supportive of her. You know, in this journey of her wanting, you know, this man. How important is it for best friends to support one another through the decisions that they want? Oh, I think it's very important mm. for for best friends, friends to support each other mm -hmm. um, in whatever endeavor because <clears throat> the truth is none of us really know what we're doing mm -hmm. in, in most cases mm -hmm. and you know what better way to mess up than with someone who equally doesn't know what they're doing sure. and you guys just team up and just wing it you know together mm -hmm. that, that's why Riri is the wing woman yeah. because Essentially, we're just winging it, but it's better to wing it with someone than just by yourself. I love that. Oh, Let's just wing it together. I, bro. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Um, the chemistry that the both of you have on set is actually quite beautiful. So did that translate even like after the show, when you're done shooting, or maybe like prior you guys going on set, do you guys have to like, you know, connect more to, you know, portray this beautiful character friendship that the both of you have? Um, I, I mean, when I this is my first time working with Katleho yeah. and when I met her I just thought what a wonderful human being mm. like just generally um, for me I always say people lie but energy doesn't lie and mm. Katleho has got such a beautiful energy so infectious light genuine generous um, that really if if you didn't like her you are definitely the red flag <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, sure. so it felt great because um yeah i we literally just got on like a house on yeah. fire and and i and i'm i guess we're lucky because then mm. it translated on screen but very effortless nothing mm. planned we weren't like let's sit and have lunch together it was way hey, let's bond let's bond <laughs> come let's have you know what i'm saying it it was beautiful ah uh, same yeah like Honestly, honestly speaking, Didi is an incredible human being, and I'm so glad that her essence as a person is captured so beautifully as well and translates into Riri. Uh, so it was just really, really effortless because he's amazing. Again, if you have a problem with Didi, <laughs> you're the <laughs> problem. <laughs> Literally. Um, as you mentioned, your character earlier on, um, and the show is you know about Christmas and you know like looking for you know this person that you know he wants to bring at home mm -hmm. what conversations are not just him alone but all of you having you know around your siblings around mm -hmm. christmas um around you know you know finding love mm 
Please. Oh, I have to start. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he said all of us. But, um, I generally try and, and and not so much with my siblings, um, but more with with the kids at home. I listen. There's no rush. Mm. There's no rush. Um, the way I, in my experience, the way I've uh, I've seen. Uh, love work is you need to be at peace with yourself. Sure. Mm -hmm. You need to be in a good space with yourself, within yourself. Mm -hmm. And then your person finds you. Mm -hmm. So you can't go out there looking for love. Mm -hmm. you, the best way to find the love you require is to be a better human being. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, then the universe conspires. Mm -hmm. Sure. Absolutely. Mm. It's like you, you you want all these things. It's like, are you that? Yeah. You know? Are yeah. you that person? Would you want to be with you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because in most cases, well, I think we're always looking to be rescued mm. by someone else, but we're not willing to do the internal work. So I definitely sure. agree with you. But mm. I will also say this. Just don't try and find a partner before... Like right before <laughs> Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Because you need to start yeah. like in October, yeah, to book for December. Well, and yeah. in December, everyone's taken, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like in June, you have to start in April, <laughs> winter, it's, it's gone. So yeah. just plan better. That's all I'm gonna say. Prior, prior, yeah, so oh. that when December, you are with him, sure. well, understand that because if you find them in December, they're gonna buy bread and come back in January. <laughs> so because the characters that you know all three of you are quite like complex, like quite different. Mm. So do you do like any research to kind of like know the characters that you are playing more, just to have like an understanding of it, like more. I mean, like you playing your best friend, you playing you know this you know old mm. man who's mm. divorced, you playing you know this lady who's you know successful in her career, but mm. you know this gap mm. of like wanting for a man. Do you like do any research about the character so you just like understand yourself more? So with 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 Utando, I think. The research also came into, I guess, her profession as well as a physio. I was able to go into a hospital and spend some time with a physiotherapist and just get, I think, that part of her character, I guess, which is more technical, right? I can't, I can't fill in the blanks with that, you know? Um, so that, that was fortunate. I think that added to more of my character research and figuring out, okay, cool, this is how you handle a patient as a physiotherapist. So none of that is faked. That is rehearsed. <laughs> um, and yeah, a and I think the beauty of having a script and bringing a character to life is that you can, as the actor as well, it's like art, right? You can fill in your own blanks. The, the, the writers are incredible and they've written this whole story, but it's also now you, who was it? I think it was Didi earlier on, it was like, now you can put the meat on the bones, right? Mm. So, so I think that's the kind of research that I went on. And, and again, understanding the core of your character, and then it literally just springboards from there. And yeah. Hmm. I think a lot of the time, look, it, it depends on the kind of um, story you're telling. Sure. It depends on the tone of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't always follow necessarily that you need to go out there and research it. Yeah. Um, a lot of the times, the clues are right there on the page. Mm -hmm. um, so, so read it. Read it again. What am I missing? Mm -hmm. Read it again. Mm -hmm. Read it again. A lot of a lot of the clues are, are often True. on the page. Sure. And then what you then do is say, okay. Now that I understand this, what? Or now that I understand the general shape of the character. Mm -hmm what can my imagination not fill in? Where do I need help? Yeah. Then you go and say, oh, okay, no, actually, I don't know how to do this part. Let me go and learn that part. Yeah. But, but a lot of it really is, is on the page, and it's just a matter of the discipline of read it, read it again, read it again, and, and eventually it'll come. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to uh, totally agree. It's... it's it always, um, like I said earlier, it always goes back to 
remembering that you you need to tell somebody's story authentically sure and it doesn't matter how big or how small the role mm -hmm. is how serious or how light-hearted the the you know the the character is you always mm -hmm. have to make sure that you stick to the authenticity mm -hmm. and not the stereotype of what is expected mm -hmm. from that character mm -hmm. so um yeah, that obviously means, you know, going back home is like, mm, what is it about this character that makes them unique mm. to every other character that I've portrayed? And, you know, where do they fit in in the greater scheme of things? And how can I bring that to life without making it seem or feel like it's being put on, mm. you know? So, yeah, it's, it's the work never stops. The work never stops. Even when, when they call cut. And you go and you prepare the next you're still mm. working and you're still constantly developing mm. your character so yeah two questions just to wrap it up um the first one is because it's a christmas show um do all all of you have like christmas traditions that you have in your households and your families mm. and what are those i think the one thing for me so my dad's taken on this role he thinks he's a dj every christmas <laughs> um so he puts together a playlist and he calls himself dj t um, so every Christmas, I'm graced with the presence of DJ T on the decks of the Ox Cable. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think that's one thing that as much as I, I guess, go, bro, chill, I love it so much. I love it so much. I, I come from a family where my mother used to cook a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so we knew that Christmas, whatever happens, we are going to eat. Um, and, and and after we our bellies are, are round, we then sit together and do board games and things like that. Yeah. And I've tried to continue that that tradition. Um, you know, so we do all the traditional stuff. We'll do the, the the Christmas tree. We'll do the gifts under the tree. We'll do the meals, big big heavy meals, um, lots of desserts, at least two or three different cakes. Mm. You know, all of that. And then by the end of it, we're all too full to move and that's when we'll pull out your monopolies and, yeah. and ludos yeah. and all that crazy stuff Love that. yeah i mean i know for me family is it doesn't matter where we are what mm -hmm. we're doing we just always have to be together sure. um mm -hmm. yeah it's just and and even if i mean there's some christmases we will have you know extended family members come over or we will go but um my immediate family and I are just always like, Mwah! and then we'll see to finish on the day. Sure. The rest you'll figure out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just um, anyone can take this one just to wrap it up. Why should people watch your Christmas on Netflix? People should watch your Christmas on Netflix because it is a beautiful, fresh, funny, adorable story that will make you feel seen, will make you laugh, will make you relate. And yeah, it is a beautiful story. That's what I think. And you're gonna have a great time laughing on the 15th of December. Because you're gonna binge watch it. The course. title is you. No. All six episodes. <laughs> Same time. So there you go. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for your time. And we can't wait to, you know, stream. Well, upstream, well, other people. I can't wait for other people to experience. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, may just grow in these and bounds and something. Thank that's you. Really Thank you. Great. Thank you. 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 Th